being from Toronto, normally we've done all of our vacationing back east, and this year we decided to head out west. It was something to look forward to every day here at, at Big White. We wanted to come to a place where we could not only have something that supported our family environment, but also something with a great quality of snow. We heard with a base elevation of 5,000 feet, you know, that they're virtually guaranteed good snow conditions, and, and that was once again the case this year for our trip. Being able to ski in and ski out is, it, it, it's a make or break for us. And my first impression was, you know, it, it's like a boutique, charming, you know, simple, um, village and I think that we really felt that that was its appeal and we can see why it appeals to families because of the simplicity of it. It's a very easy for us to do the things we need to do to be a family and then go off and do the things that we need to do individually. <laughs> Part of the Enora trip here, these mountains are different than they are back east. We wanted to teach our kids to truly ski them and the best way to do that was to put them in in lessons and we have snowboarders and skiers amongst them and they've thrived in that this week and you know they're ready for any challenge here come the end of the week. One of the wonderful things here too although you know so many of our meals were planned at home there are temptations to eat out in the villages. We skied through and saw the activity you know there were certain opportunities where we just felt we have to kind of try out some of the dining and boy it didn't disappoint. But there's so you much know, activity we went, going yeah. on in the village and the smell of the barbecue and all the people mm -hmm. and it was great it was fantastic. Yeah a highlight was stopping at Globe restaurant and you know taking the four kids and all meeting together for lunch all you know having ha experienced a great morning and the kids having a great lunch with a dessert, which they'll always remember these the s'mores, s'mores with you know, fresh homemade uh, marshmallows, marshmallows. As, as part of it. It was it was truly a, a really memorable experience. Stonegate's been amazing. We have the pool, the hot tub, the yeah. games room, it, the cinema. Yeah, it, it, it's not, we, we certainly weren't renting a hotel, we were renting, you know, what was a fully furnished, fully equipped suite, which suits the needs of our family, you know, in terms of with the four of us, and, you know, it just had the right, you know, living uh, accommodations, and was finished of high quality, and we were so impressed, and, and, and with the luxury, we said, of just being able to ski right in and right out. And, right and being able to divide our family. I mean, we're, there are six of us and we all have different needs. So from 7 to 14, there's something that meets everybody's needs. There's certainly a good variety of, of terrain from, you know, beginner skilled, you know, uh, opportunities for the kids to, to ski in the terrain park to, you know, some, something more than we can take on. You know, the way we look at it is still, you know, being experienced skiers, there's terrain that still would, would intimidate us and, you know, there's, there's, there's just so much and, and what, what we're excited about is being able to come back and experience a lot of that terrain that we didn't get a chance to, to ski this time. There's definitely something for everyone, and for us to ski as a family is unique. I mean, there we can definitely, all of us, head out there and, and ski together and have a great time. And push yourself. The, the feeling of Big White is safe. It's, um, the, the mountain is easy to navigate, and the kids go off on their own and, and do some of the activities on their own, and we do things together as a family, but in terms of the train, I mean, we're all different levels of skiing, but we can all ski together as a family, and that's the great great part of it. After kind of a wonderful four days here, you know, we decided we really wanted to kind of treat the kids and treat ourselves and, and do something very memorable and we, we chose to take uh, the family and we booked a reservation to Kettle Valley Steakhouse and boy did it not disappoint and um, the kids, um, you know, are, are going to be talking about that meal for a long time. And, Amazing quality. You know, and Fantastic. Every place we've gone we've always ordered a, an Okanagan wine. Yeah, we're just going to see how many we can stuff in our ski bags going home. <laughs> but what we needed the most is to reconnect as a family. It's so busy and it's just given us time to kind of reconnect and to cherish all the memories that we have and to look forward to the next trip like this. You're thinking about it again, aren't you? Where should I go? 
Of all the places you could visit, how do you choose? Well, maybe I can help. Start with the obvious. You want to go to a place that's got great weather all year round. With scenery, a lake, mountains, a place of natural beauty. Like you actually stepped into a postcard. What should you do there? Well, that's easy. Nothing you have to do. And everything you want to do. And maybe a few things you never thought you could do. You want to go to a place where you can meet new friends and reconnect with old ones. A place where you can experience the perfect course, the perfect round, the perfect shot, the perfect shot, the perf... Well, maybe we can work on that. This place, it should be somewhere you can have new experiences, share new adventures, and food, fresh, local, organic, flavorful, with ingredients from the farm down the road, or the orchard right around the corner. The kind of food you want to savor again and again and again. Okay, maybe that's enough. Here's the thing. Deciding where to go, it's not about checking this box or that box. It's about checking them all and maybe creating a couple of your own. It's about living life to the fullest, whether you do a whole bunch of things or a whole bunch of nothing. Some people say that place doesn't exist. <laughs> but I've been here all along.